Okay, here's my beef with Digitrex. Normally, all of the products I bought from Digitrex have been excellent. I've had no problems with them. And the customer service is great, as many people know. Um, I've had a, about 10 years of history with them, and they work, the products work great. However, my beef is with this thing. The DS-74, which replaced the DS-64. Now, I don't know if they didn't have enough reliability engineers or mechanical engineers on staff to look at this, but I'm not impressed. And here's why. These connections here, these screw terminals, are 256 screws. A normal small screwdriver, like this one, will just barely fit in the opening of the hole to, to turn down the screw and remove it, or hopefully not remove it, but loosen it or tighten it to get the wire in. Now, the problem is that as you turn the screw in more, the hole, the, the, the Bakelite hole that the screw sits in, tapers. So when you're turning the screwdriver, sometimes you think you're turning the screwdriver, but you're not engaging the slot. And it's very hard to tell whether you're engaging the slot of the screw or not. That's number one. Um, number two, you could use a jeweler's screwdriver, but you don't get the torque with a jeweler's screwdriver. And by the way, when you get older like I am, the, uh, and the arthritis starts to set in, a, a jeweler's screwdriver is pretty tough to turn and get enough torque on it. So this typical small standard screwdriver has got a problem. You really got to push to make sure you've engaged the slot. In the DS64, I didn't have nearly that amount of problem. I don't know if the, the housing wasn't tapered or the screws are a little bit bigger. But these 256 screws, I had one pop out on me and boy, that's a nightmare to put back in. All right, number two, these little connectors here. You can't tell where the, wire, when the, wire, where the wires go, you can't tell whether they're open or not by looking at them. There's virtually no way to tell. And believe me, I've looked under a magnifying glass I cannot tell whether the screw is out all the way or in all the way. It's very difficult to see. That's number two. Number three, if you look at these terminal strips, unlike the DS64, which these terminal strips are soldered to the board, these come out. I don't know if you can see that, but these pop out. Now, presumably that was so you could make the connections to your turnouts on this and then slide them over the, the posts after you've made the connections and push them back in. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but all you're relying on is friction for this connection that has your turnouts uh, tied into it, connected to it, to the board. Not a great idea. I've had a situation where I've only had two turnouts out of full work, and they looked to me like they were all connected. However, when I took this connector off the board, and plugged it back in and wiggled it, then it worked again. Not a great idea. They also made this smaller so it's a little difficult to, to handle uh, because uh, it's just, you know, everything is, is a little bit smaller than the DS64. The next thing is, one thing you learn about hardware and software especially, don't change the use model. You, by that I mean, in the DS64, you program each individual port or each individual turnout to a number. On these guys, you, you press what they call, or you program the base address, they call it the base ID address now, for example 30, and you just program that one base address, and then the next address has to be 31, 32, 33. has to be in sequence. So the base address sets the next four. That's a different use model than the DS64. I don't know why they did that. Maybe to make it easy to program, you only have to program, program it once instead of four different ports. But uh, I've, it's not that big a deal to do the other four ports. If for some reason you need to have a different number on each one, uh, you're out of luck with this one from what I can see. You're stuck with the base address plus, plus three. So that's my beef with this. I don't think, uh, you know, that this is the new model. The DS64 has been discontinued. I don't think right now it's a great idea. I think these terminals should be soldered to the board. I think the screw, uh, the, yeah, these terminal strips should be soldered to the board, not removable. I think the screws in there ought to be bigger to, to uh, allow use of a standard mini screwdriver. 
uh, and the hole's not tapered. And I think it should be easier to see whether this hole is open or not. Anyway, that's my beef. Beware, caveat emptor, when you get the DS-74s uh, uh, and you've had 64s. It's, uh, it's a little bit different. Okay, if you like this uh, video, this short video, please click like and subscribe to my webpage. Thanks very much.